So our friend Robert, his place is actually right around the corner from the Upper East Side. Well, I say around the corner, like a kilometer and a half. Um, and it's just down here to the right, I think. So I was gonna jump on a taxi or bus or whatever, but I am gonna walk a little bit first and just check out you know, the area, that kind of thing. And the Upper East Side is like a super swanky popular area. And uh, that's where Mega World is, of course. And that's where, you know, one of the, the big top locations everybody wants to move to, um, just like Festival. I think it's down here. Well, there's definitely some really nice houses on the street. It's a pretty quiet street. I'm uh, a little surprised that this is gonna lead me to this big uh, area, Upper East Side area. I believe also the new city hall is up here on the left. It's a big empty lot over there. I miscalculated the distance. It's a lot further than I thought. I gotta stop. This is what they had to drink. Thank you. This is what I had uh, to drink here. The Royal Orange Pop. I don't usually drink pop. Did you say pop or do you say soda? I heard it's based on like if you're from the south or from the north and the west, something like that. It's hot. It is so hot today. What a day for them to have no electricity in Ilo Ilo. As soon as you come into this area, it's like night and day. Just like it is when you head into Festa Walk, it just feels like you're in another world. Well, that's sort of what you're coming into now. And on the right hand side is the massive landers. I don't know if there's two landers. Is there two landers in this city or one? Only one. Just one, okay. So there's one one landers in the city. Uh, Bianca had visited it and she made, did make a video on it. So you can find that on her channel. Um, and it is enormous. Now, Iloilo is getting one. It's coming into Festive Walk. It's under construction now. But uh, I was really impressed based on what I saw in the video and what I can see now, much bigger than the SNR in Iloilo. But the last time I was here was about a year ago and there weren't this many condos already finished and under construction. Uh, so it was a lot has changed in one year in this, this area. And it will be the big hot spot to be given two more years, a year probably. Um, I have a feeling all of those will be done and this place will look ridiculously nice. The very famous festival in Bacolod is the Mascara Festival, where everybody has the mascara type masks. It looks really cool. And uh, then look at this, they, like I think I pointed it out a year ago, but either way, look at that. A massive bowling center. That's not something you would normally imagine, I think, in the Philippines. At least I didn't um, until I saw it for the very first time. So that's really cool. The Landers wasn't open the last time I was here. Uh, this at night gets all opened up here. As you can see, they have lots of booths and stuff like that. They've got their uh, McDonald's is over here and it's quite large. But then they have this little train over here that has uh, Sunday and McFloats that they sell in here. And so you can imagine once it gets darker, all these open up, this would get quite busy in the evening. And there's the Upper East House. I don't know if they do uh, rental properties. While I'm here, I'm gonna ask, because I'd love to see what they go for and what they have available, um, like Atria does in Iloilo. I found Quintus over here and he said, yes, yes, we can actually go. So I just have to go to over to this fancy looking building over here and they do have rentals here. All right, thank you, furnished rentals. So we can find out what they're gonna charge for them. This is such a fancy uh, sales center. <laughs> I think it's gonna be the clubhouse when it's all done for like the neighborhood for people that live in here. But yeah. Hello, how are you? Are you the guy I come talk to? I'm looking for furnished rentals. Yeah, do you have furnished rentals? Yes, sir. We have rent for uh, Look at that, perfect, perfect. Can we go, sir? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go. What's your name? My name is Romolo. Romolo? All right, Romulo, sounds good. Look at this. This is the offices for Mega World here, and look how fancy this all looks. Wow, this is super nice. 
Well, uh, this is a White House inspired sir, from White House inspired. Okay, Mr. President, Mr. Uh, President Romolo over here, giving me the grand tour. Wow. So, um, sir, this is the interior, sir. This is a what? Interior. Uh, interior. Oh yes, yes, the interior. Yeah, it's super nice in here. Well, I don't think the condos are going to be like this, though. That would be nice, but probably not. Oh, down here? All right, let's go. By the way, look at that. They even have an elevator in here. So they do have handicapped access. All right. So here is one of the buildings here. This is the King Kensington Sky Garden. Is this one built yet? Uh, that will be turned over, sir. Not yet, sir. Oh, not yet. Okay, but this is under construction, right? Yes, sir. By and, 1998, sir. And this one here, the Harold Park Suites? Yes, sir. Is that one done? Yes, sir. Okay. Harold Park Suites. Beside the two regions that I will present to you. Uh, okay, so this one's open? Uh, not yet, sir. That oh, not yet also. By 2027. So 2027, and this one is? 2028, sir. 2028, oh, yes. okay. There's still several years left on there. Oh my God, they have a bar. Wow, 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 that's how you get people hooked. You get them drinking, and then you get them to sign a contract. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> Look at this, holy crap. This is a heck of a showroom. All right, and what about this building? What's this one? Um, this is the- uh, One Manhattan. Manhattan. Yes, New York inspired, sir, by year. 2025 is the turn. It's only a year from now. Yes, sir. Yeah, basically a year from now on that one. Okay. All right. So 56 square plus, meters. Plus this is going to be a two bedroom. Two bedrooms. Two, yes. two bedroom, 56 square meters. And 59. this is now yes. the kitchen you see here, it will be exact like this or no? It doesn't come with any appliances, this is correct? Exact, sir. Oh. Uh, model unit for Harold. Right. Suite. Okay. Well, that kitchen is quite large then. We have granite on their top, uh, four burning cooktop. Uh, we have included the cabinets yep. overhead, underhead, the built-in uh, built oven, the built-in sink. It's a deep sink too. Yes. Yeah. This whole um, um, model sir, is a smart unit which means um, remotely controlled by a phone app. So upon entry our lightings can be off nice. and our appliances so it's a modern type. Okay, so, fantastic. So Alright, so you've got a good size living room here. Uh, you have a good size TV. Of course, you're going to have now all units will have a balcony or yes, no? Yes, we have the balcony, sir. Uh, the but every balcony. unit will have a balcony? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, uh, good to know. Uh, you uh, you can see up the views. And then the air conditioning yes. ones will be there. Sea yeah. views, uh, mountain views, city views. Depending nice. on what particular uh, level of floor. All right, and so the, for the second bedroom, where we're going to start first, this is actually included. So it's not a built in wall, cabinet, or whatever, but you will get a closet space with that. That's cool. Um, obviously, this isn't the layout that you would get. You would just get an empty room. But I really like what they've done here for a kid's room where you have the bed up top like that and a desk underneath. It's a really great use of space and it would open everything up. But uh, the aircon would be included. Um, or not, or sorry, the hole would be included. You, you, everything would be roughed in. You would put your own air conditioning yes. in. All right, fantastic. And then, then we have here, sir, um, the master bedroom. Yes. It's okay. The same, sir. We have included built-in. And what's the size of the master bedroom? Um, uh, I'm not particular, sir, but the whole oh, okay. space is 56 square. Feet. Yeah, the whole whole place 56. Okay. I'm just trying to give an idea of size. Okay, so, and this is a, a double bed, so obviously you could do a queen, it would just be cutting a little bit into that. As you can see, they have that whole desk built in and everything, just to give you an idea on space um, for everything. This is kind of neat. These things pop out, so it's like, you know, you can have a little bit of space, I think. Yeah, somehow like that. You know, these IKEA ones. I'm not sure exactly how it opens, it doesn't really matter. Um, and another, this one is actually built into the wall, so you don't actually notice. And this is included too, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fantastic. All right. Yes, sir. So, can we proceed to add the. Yeah, let's take a look at the CR real quick. Yes, sir. And yeah, as you can imagine. So it's dark in here, so but the built in the sink, we have the bidet, the shower, and also. Oh, it's all and it's all included like that. Uh, no, sir, the oh. movable one or not. So this whole uh, unit is a semi furnished unit. Right, but the toilet comes with it and everything. Yes. Sir. Yes. So it does come with it. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. So fixtures and all that do come with it, and they're quite nice. 
All right, so this is the, the, the Herald Park, Park Suite, uh, but this isn't the rental or anything. You can't rent this. This is uh, if you were looking to purchase. What is that one gonna, what's that one selling for? Uh, for 20 to 27, sir. How much? All right, well, while I'm waiting for him to go get the information, before we go over, look at this. Here's today's newspaper, Blackout Bonanza. Yeah, so I just heard from uh, Bianca maybe an hour ago, not even half an hour maybe now, and uh, her electricity was finally restored. So it went, it went off at 3 p.m. yesterday and then came back on like, oh, like 11, I think it was, for her, uh, yeah, 11 or 11.30 she got it. And there is still people that do not have electricity, but for the most part, I think at least half the city right now apparently has electricity. But yeah, it's all the national grid. No explanation of why they had to shut down so many of the power plants, but they were only producing 20% of their required electricity. Uh, yeah, that's terrible. You know, the funny thing is, is it was like a year ago, it was the same sort of situation. National grid couldn't, didn't have enough power for the, the amount of people that are needed. And this area has such a small um, percentage uh, over what is the daily need. So I think it's uh, one of the small, what is the smallest actually of all the areas in the Philippines. And uh, so that's something hopefully they're addressing soon. I know there's a lot of angry people at all kinds of levels of government and corporations, stuff like that. So there's a lot of pressure right now to get the power back up and get it to uh, a point where you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you're in a place like this, you're never gonna feel it. It's all generators in these type of places. That's why everybody goes to Festa Walk and SM and those kind of places. So uh, yeah, it kind of does matter where you live or get solar. To give you an idea, if you're looking for a condo here that is already built, um, a studio is gonna run you, uh, or sorry, not even a studio, a one bedroom is gonna run you to 9.2 million pesos. That is already built, ready to go in the buildings that already exist, which is the one regis, two regis sort of thing. And uh, then if you're looking for a two bedroom unit, it, this, is pre, this is already built, you can move in right away, is 13 million 200,000 pesos. Hang on, let me do it, get check that again. Oh, 13 million, 124 uh, million pesos uh, for you to be able to move in right away. So obviously it's gonna be cheaper if you're building, buying something that's not gonna be built for a year from now. There's always a discount for that kind of thing. Um, and of course, these prices I'm giving you are based on the lowest of the one bedroom. So there'll be another one bedroom that'll be more because it might be a corner unit, bigger balcony, something like that, right? I'm just giving you the ballpark because I actually came to see how much the rentals are here because I know a lot of people want to rent for a little while, get used to the neighborhood, see if they like it before they decide to go and make a big purchase like a brand new condo. Okay, so uh, right now they don't have any that they can get me into today, but that's okay because you kind of get an idea. The Mega World ones are all gonna have relatively the same thing. Furniture will be slightly changed and stuff like that. Now what happens is if you purchase one of these, you can become part of like the whole thing where they rent it out like this, right? For one year lease, those kind of things. They also have per night. So if you want a studio, it's like 1800 pesos per night. Um, if you wanna just stay for a couple nights, that kind of thing, you can do that um, with Mega World as well. But this is the building right now that is finished. The one Regis right here. And you see it's a, a little colorful going on and that building there they have the studios which is 27 square meters correct guys guys 27 square meters is studio 24 24 24 square meters is the studio so it's about half of what you just saw in that showroom there um it that one will be going for 30,000 approximately it's like 30,000 a few hundred pesos that will include the fee to use the pool and everything else um, per month to stay there and that will be fully furnished then if you go to one bedroom you're looking at again the same thing 40,000 plus a couple hundred pesos because it works out with the the fees um, per month for that furnished you still pay your electricity all that good stuff and then if you actually wanted the two bedroom it is going to be uh, 50,000 and again the same thing it might come slightly over that so that is the pricing here for a fully furnished living in this, this type of area here in the brand new building, the One Regis. Now there'll be more buildings coming up in the future and that kind of thing. Um, but you know, if you're looking for the same thing that you have like at Infestawak, well guess what? It's about the same price it is, is, is it is in Iloilo, 
30, 40, and 50 is a pretty standard price for um, what I found in this whole, I guess, back a lot in Ilo Ilo area. So there you go. Now you have an idea. Sorry, I couldn't get in there and to show you right now, but uh, it's a, a brand new building. So everything is gonna be brand new. And so will all the furniture, that kind of thing. It is very beautiful here and you can get a good idea what it's gonna look like. Well, you can just see Mega World is, well, BGC, right? If you're going around BGC, that is Mega World. If you're going around Festivalk, that is Mega World. Their projects to always turn out to be very beautiful and the hot spot of every city. I just wanted to show you this really quick. This is a 1912 newspaper here in the Philippines. And see, they're talking about the sugar cooperative, everything else. And look how American this whole thing looks though. Uh, incredible to imagine that this was the Philippines uh, in 1912. And America just like took right over. How crazy is that? And so in this area, this is just one of the areas, right? This is the Upper East Side. But then you also have up in the north there, they do have like a Mega World subdivision going on. Um, we did visit it there uh, the last time, about a year ago. Um, not much going on up there. There was a McDonald's, but uh, you know, you gotta drive if you're gonna live up there. Uh, in addition to that, you have um, the SM area, which is down by the waterfront, um, where they have a ton of condos all going right down there. And of course you'll have a big SM mall. Then you have Rockwell, which is also up in the north, uh, near the Mega World uh, subdivision that they're building. And the Rockwell though, I was really disappointed. It was 40,000 per square meter for empty land in a development that hasn't even started that you can't even build on for a couple years. So I, that's a lot. That's, that's an incredibly high number. And yeah, I, we'll see. We'll see. I, don't, I can't imagine it's gonna stand. Uh, now you're talking like, what, New York City pricing at this point for land? I don't know, maybe I'm way off, but I, it's two to three times the most highest I kind of see everywhere else I go. So that, that does seem like a lot. Uh, I did notice here, look at they have an e-charging station right across the street uh, in front of uh, McDonald's here in the McDonald's parking lot. So yeah, that's it. This is the Lopez Mall. So right underneath where the bowling alley is over here. And they do have some cafes, restaurants, that kind of thing. Look at this. So this is that Lopez Mall. And look how interesting this place is. They got all these very thick wood block tables and everything. And it's like a cafe, but you can also get like your nails done or something. Oh, oh in there, in there. Okay, oh, haircut for men is only 150 pesos. But yeah, they have cafes in here. It's called the Hardwood Cafe. And they got all this, well, hardwood. And it's an interesting mall because it's like a mix of literally everything. They sell furniture right over there in the hallway. Um, watches and t-shirts for this guy over here. Some of it's open, some of it's not. I just wanted to see this bowling center. I don't know where the bowling center is. Hello, where's the bowling center? Oh, that way? Okay, thank you. All in one area, in one spot. Look, here you go, massage chairs. And there it is. Oh, wow, look at this, look at this. Yeah, look at that. Billiards, and it looks like it's all 10 pin, yeah. Oh no, 10 pin on that side. And uh, 20 pin on over here, no, no, it's all 10 pin. How much is uh, the gold? Oh, there's the rates. Okay, okay. One hundred. All right, there you go. Ten pin is 110 pesos uh, yeah. per game per bowler, and shoe rental is only 30 pesos. Yeah. So that's that's a really decent. There's the hours, by the way. And then socks are still required. Yeah. Oh yeah. Br bring socks. Don't bring flip flops. All right. Well, there you go. Really cheap price. 110 pesos per person per game. So two bucks. That's really cool. And then over here, they have a fun park, department store, this massive mural showing the mascara artwork. And I don't know, it says fun park this way. Again, hodgepodge, because here's a department store with kids' dolls. Quite large. 
Oh yeah, there is a fun park. They just put everything into one area. They just literally crammed everything in here. That's so cool. So yeah, well, of course, children's toy department, you put the fun zone in for your kids. And then another giant pool table over here. Hello guys, how are you? Good afternoon. So you got more pool tables over here and a KTV corner. So you can play pool while you have your kids play. I guess it's like a party center sort of thing. And they got Taekwondo in here. Okay, I get it now. All right, you guys. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. No, I don't want to play with, thank you. I might be a little big. I, I, you, you probably have a height limit and I probably beat it. No jungle zone for me. Am I the only one that thinks this is kind of cool? It's so interesting, this mall. It's just, we have something like this, or at least I think they still do in Toronto, called Honest Eds. And it's just a hodgepodge of building after building after building. It's like they kept taking over buildings. And they just turned it into like the craziest department store you've ever been into with just everything. So yeah, now all of a sudden I'm in a full fledged clothing department store. Oh, okay, dishes, never mind. Department store. enough I'm gonna be back obviously you have to come back here in order to go home uh, but here we go we're at the bus station I'm saying that wrong right yeah pretty crazy so a six six hour bus ride like 510 pesos I don't have a, a ATM card or anything so thank goodness I have that in cash don't leave without me brother I gotta go get some water six hours that's a long time it's like two bucks good deal all right brother how are you nice and dark in here perfect for napping and find a place to sleep like right there even got a tv yeah i think this is a good one I don't know how busy this bus will get. Hopefully not too busy. Cause sometimes they're like sitting on the floor that busy. Hopefully not. Make sure you have good air conditioning. I do, I do. Looks good. I'm in Dumaguete. I just uh, dropped me off and I just figuring it out because I didn't want to go all the way down. Just come all the way back. But I have to go over here across the street to, I guess a bank. I need BPI, but I'm not going to be picky because I just want to go get checked in. And I'm staying tonight just at a very cheap place, like a thousand pesos. And it's uh, called Bethel's something. Streets are clean. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, but people are like, oh, it's going to be so dirty. And there's going to be, it's going to be people like coming up to you every two minutes trying to get money from you and everything and so far so good like everybody got a couple hellos and that's it just people driving by but like I said I'm looking around and the streets are clean everything is pretty decent I don't know maybe it's this area first impression though going so good so far I'm taking it that's where you get the Scooby snacks back at the boardwalk and yeah it it look reminds me of i guess mobile yeah mobile like that everything is popping everything's going good there's all these places are open there's a bistro right over there i don't know some tea place or whatever but max's restaurant but then you got why not resto bar there the honeycomb is rocking it out right now of course they got their new year stuff way up there all lit up i'm gonna go go a little bit down here but I want to get rid of my backpack. I want to get checked in. I've been sitting on that bus for six and a half, almost well, I guess seven hours. Yeah, seven hours. What am I saying? So when I first heard the name, hey, hey, hey. Hey. Um, when I first heard Bethel's guest house, I was like, 
that's not gonna be like a hotel at all. That's just gonna be like somebody's house with a room in there or whatever. Uh, no, and right across from the main part of the plaza, and here it is. Yay! Look, it's like a, a full-blown hotel. Not what I was expecting at all. This, is, this looks pretty decent. I know people said the traffic's gonna be absolutely crazy here, and it hasn't been too bad, but it is also 10 o'clock at night on a weekday. So, uh, you know, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot different, but uh, can't complain so far. All right, yeah. So we'll see what I mean. It's pretty decent. All right, so I got up here and I was a little confused for a moment because it's like they got a whole other gift shop up here on the fourth floor. And it's like a whole other check-in desk, but yeah, okay. See, look at this. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Am I the only one that thinks that this looks a lot like a hospital? I feel like it used to be a hospital. Maybe it was once. Just even the type of doors and everything. All right, 426, there we go. There is, uh, what, a thousand pesos will buy you. There we go. And yeah, isn't that like an emergency call button? Oh no, it's a thermostat, okay. I, I, anyway, anyway, so this is what you get. It's just a single bed, totally fine. It's only me tonight. This is uh, uh, all gonna be easy. So I have a little picture there, a little table here with a kettle on it. And yeah, just some basics going on here. What's, what's up with this? Oh, I thought that slid back and forth or something. Oh, I see, you can, it's like a closet thing. I guess you can hang some stuff, including up there. Uh, you get a TV. And I asked about the internet. She said, yes, we have pretty good internet, sir. So we'll see. And I got a hot water heater. So for like under 20 US dollars, you get this. All right. What do you expect? 20 bucks? This is a good deal. So I've got a little mystery for you. Um, so the rules here. I swear there's nurses that work here and this is something else also. Um, not that I think it's a bad thing, it's just maybe they have um, for elderly or something like that. They allow them to stay here too, I don't know. Anyway, um, they have signs here that say um, no liquor allowed in the premises. So you can't bring your beer to your room or anything like that. But uh, also no walkers. I wonder what they mean by walkers. What's a walker? Somebody walks the street. Okay, I'm out. Uh, I'm not gonna have street food only because I probably wanna sit down and just relax and have some food, drink a beer, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, I still wanted to come out here and check out the boardwalk because it's really pretty at night and it's all lit up nice and everything else. But then look at this, they've got tons of vendors and everything going all the way down. So I wanted to come and see what out here because during the day it would be too hot and I don't think I'll like it as much as I would like it right now. I don't think I need anything unless they find flip-flops. If I find flip-flops in my size, oh my gosh, that'll be a win. And why not? If there are all these foreigners in this city, that's a city, right? Dumaguete? Yeah. Um, then there should be uh, larger sizes, I would hope. Because that's the market, right? Although 35 pesos right there. That's a fantastic price, but that's just the uke uke. All right, so something I found interesting is I was told by locals that are here, told me that uh, there are two places that are popular with expats that I should go to, but they're busy only in the mornings. And I was like, what? Who gets up at like seven o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning when you're all retired, you know? Uh, but when I get again, they're not editing like me till three in the morning, so I guess that makes sense. 
Yeah, there's a lot here. There's a big giant screen going on over here. There's nothing on it, but some kind of advertisement or whatever. But I had seen this when it was under construction and it was a mess in other people's videos. But now it's, it's pretty decent. This is a volleyball court, so that's why it looks the way it does. Um, but yeah, it's quite large and I can see over here, there's a whole bunch of, well, I guess, restaurants. So from a distance, they look like really big restaurants, but now that I'm right up to it now, I can see that they're more like the pop-up style ones. Still pretty nice though. And again, it's Tuesday, so don't expect much on a Tuesday during the week when people are all back to work after they just had all their holidays for Christmas and New Year's and that kind of thing. There's a whole bunch of people sitting over here, but it's really dark. And I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's a whole bunch of massage. Like tons, tons and tons of people getting massaged. You can see they're in the purple outfits and blue and white. It's like a massage. Is that a massage contest? Are they having a contest of massage? Hello guys, how are you? It's like a contest. Who can massage better? And you got to cheer on your team. Are you on the white team? Are you on the blue team? Are you on the purple team? Hi again. <laughs> when I first time she said hello, I actually had a little back. She was like, oh my gosh, he said hello. So yeah, I don't know. It, there's no lights. There's no nothing. They're, they're all just getting massages over there. And they're probably all students. And it's something to do with like the massage school or something. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, what's down there? By the way, they're trikes. They look like carriages. They look actually really comfortable. Uh, some of them don't even have the seat at the other side. They just have the one seat. Uh, they're huge. They are huge. So um, yeah, we can uh, now officially say, let me turn the light off. Now we can actually officially say that I've seen uh, a lot more, a lot more foreigners. About 15 now, I guess. So a lot more. Okay. They're all hanging out in all these pubs and hangout places and stuff like that. Makes sense. Casablanca here. Looks really nice. I'm sure it's a little too late to sit down in there and eat right now, but it has a, a nice look to it. I got a beer, but there's no food after 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Okay, well, they had no food. I gotta go find food. Um, so the two places I had to look it up, one is Tom Tom's Coffee, and another one is called Sub Zero. I think Sub Zero. I've already forgotten it. Go figure. I'm gonna go check out the Sub Zero because Tom Tom's Coffee doesn't sound like it might be anything open right now. Um, so that's the plan, I guess, for now. If not, I'm eating ramen noodles and editing tonight. That that's okay. I can I can do that. Um, so one of the things. So first impressions. You hear all of these things, people like, oh, it's just a sex pats, it's this, it's that. And so I imagined, okay, it's gonna be like Angelie's City. There's gonna be, you can't sit down without girls coming up to you and, and walking down the street to take them up to you. And it's not that at all. Actually, m almost every foreigner I saw was pretty much sitting alone. And uh, no one is coming up to them and there's no girls around or anything like that. Um, yeah, no, I didn't see anything. So first impressions, not what I uh, thought because of the impressions other people kind of gave just based on comments, not based on actual uh, videos or anything like that. So there you go. It, it's, it just looks like a place that people chose all to retire. I know I looked into the whole history of it and why did Doomy Getty become the expat place. And it was actually a Forbes article that said this was the best place for expats to retire. And it was, I don't know, like 20 years ago. And it took off and then that's what happened. More and more people just kept coming here because they read it in Forbes magazine as the top destination for expats to retire uh, economically. So uh, yeah, there we go. Now everything can change tomorrow's video, who knows? Uh, maybe an entirely different experience tomorrow. But so far, not much to say. It's called Ground Zero, and it's not where the map says it is. There's nothing there. Um, and I gotta tell you, the streets are all dead. Everything is pretty dead. I'm here at, there's a McDonald's here. 
Chow King and a Jollibee. And as you can see, the streets are pretty dead. It's pretty empty. Not a party town sort of thing. So uh, at least not on the weekdays. So I'll just have McDonald's. I'll just go back, edit, and this will be the video. So, all right guys. Well, I hope you uh, uh, stick with me because we're gonna have a lot more adventures tomorrow here in Dumaguete. And I'm actually gonna be meeting with another YouTube vlogger, Shay, who uh, joined us in Iloilo and we did vlogs together there, where I'm gonna learn what it's like to live here and uh, learn a little bit more about Dumaguete from somebody who is actually a local. So that'll be fun. And we'll see what other trouble I get into. I gotta find a new place to stay. I want something with a window, obviously. And uh, I also wanna see what other types of things, things they have here in the city. In order to do that, I gotta go stay somewhere a little further down. I cannot guarantee that I will be with my wife, Filipina wife, forever. Right. Because once they separated, the Bureau of Immigration requires that person, that foreigner, to downgrade or cancel that spousal visa. All right, so this, this is JR right here. Hi. And uh, we were over there, but they were playing the music and everything, and uh, I can't have copyright music, obviously. So JR, what's the name of your company? Um, that's JRC Visa 